Kind of looks like a tongue. Anyway. Flavor guy here, and I brought in some dragon fruit. If you remember, maybe a month or so ago, we were out on the farm taking some pictures of the flowers, checking out the dragon fruit. It was really a, an awesome day. We were talking about how much flowers we had. It's gonna be a banner year. They're just going off. It's gonna be a banner year. Well, guess what? It's a banner year. And so I got some dragon fruits and brought them in and um, talk about them real quick, cut some open, let you see that beautiful red color. A couple of varieties here. So we've got this one. And some of these are gonna have more of a mauve color versus a bright red color. Why is it called a dragon fruit? You know, some people think it has like the flames of the dragon. I mean, maybe you think it's got a tail. I mean, if you have a pretty good imagination, I suppose you could see that in here somewhere. Me personally, I mean, Kind of looks like a tongue. Anyway, amazing flavor, amazing chemicals inside it. But I hate that word chemicals, but that's what they are. They're antioxidants, they're polyphenols, things like lycopene, potassium, magnesium, all the good stuff. They do have a little bit of a laxative effect, so-called laxative effect. I personally have never experienced that. I've gone to Vietnam. You can check out that video when you get a chance of my trip to Vietnam to the dragon fruit farm. We have 4,000 plants around us. Since 1987, Joe has been growing the white dragon fruit. I ate a lot of dragon fruit that day. You'll see in the video, I even drank dragon fruit wine. I didn't have any problems. I mean, things didn't come out rosy because of the color, but they came out normal. And I, I ate a lot of dragon fruit that day and that weekend. Temperature wise, you know, some people say they taste different cold versus hot. Well, I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of flavor in them to begin with. And, you know, some people will tell you that they taste like berry because of the red color. I'm, I'm thinking that's why they say that because they don't really taste like berry. They kind of have these high esters like apples and pears. And if you were to close your eyes and try it, you would not be able to tell me what the flavor is. It's, it's dragon fruit. It's got its own unique flavor and it's not very strong. If you've had dragon fruit and you've tasted it differently than I have, tell me, tell me what you felt. I'd love to hear what people's description of the flavor of dragon fruit is. Compare it to something that you really feel it tastes like. I'd love to hear that. So when it's warm, it tastes better. When it's cold, it tastes refreshing. Either way, dragon fruit's good for you. You get to pick the way uh, you want to try it. All right, let's cut a dragon fruit up and see what it looks like and taste it. I'll taste it for you, okay? I just picked these last night, so they're gonna be nice and juicy on the inside. Amazing color. The really cool thing about these is that there is juice in them, but you can eat it like a, this is the bowl. This is how I ate mine last night. You just scoop it right out of there and it's just, I mean, amazing, amazing stuff. Mmm. Like I said, not a lot of flavor, but it's it tastes great. You know, this, by the way, for the flavor guy, fits the description of not being over flavored, and therefore you can eat a lot of it because you never get satisfied. You're always gonna want it, and when they're out of season, you can't wait till next year. What can you do with dragon fruit besides eat it raw? Well, you can press out the juice and you can use it for coloring in drinks. I'm actually working on a way to process this color because it's very heat stable. It also, it goes well in cold temperatures and it, it works across high acid and low acid environments. It will change a little bit more bluish in a high alkaline environment like baking soda. So if you did something with, you know, like a muffin or something like that, it might look like a lavender muffin. It will turn a, a different color in a baking soda application or baking. You can put it in shakes, smoothies, you can freeze it and you can use it to make a mixed drink. Hmm, I'll be right back.